In this video, you are going to learn what a sink is in a DEM and how to fill that sink. Now let's see what a sink is. So what I'm showing you here on this slide is a hypothetical DEM and each cell in this DEM represents an elevation value. Now we use DEM in hydrology to, dr to delineate natural drainage pattern and that delineation is based on the principle that water flows downstream from higher elevation to lower elevation under gravity. Now let's see what that means. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these four corner cells to see how the water will flow if it hits this cell with an elevation of 67. So if the water hits this cell, then you can see that it can flow in any of these three cells because they all have elevation values lower than 67. For the sake of simplicity, let's just say that it will flow to this cell with an elevation value of 44. So the water dropped on 67 and from 67 it went to this cell that has elevation of 44. Now let's see what happens next. So what I have done here now is I have taken all the eight neighboring cells of 44. Now if you look at that you will see that this is higher than 44 so the water cannot go upstream. This is higher, this is higher, this is higher, this is higher, this is higher. Now it can either go to 37, this cell, or it can go to this cell that has elevation of 10. So again for the sake of simplicity let's just assume that it will flow to this cell that has the lowest elevation which is 10. So we started with 67 from elevation 67 it the water flow to 44 and from 44 it went to 10. Now let's see what happens next. So what I have done here again is I have drawn all the neighboring cells of this cell that has elevation of 10. Now if you look at the elevation values around 10 you will see that they are all higher than 10 which means the water cannot move out of this cell and it is sort of stuck here and whenever we encounter a cell like this in a DEM we call that as a sink. So a sink is a pit or depression in a DEM that will obstruct the natural drainage of water downstream. Sinks are present in the data due to errors or they also occur due to presence of natural depressions, ponds or lakes. Now that we know what a sink is, let's see how to fill that. I will use the same example that I used in my previous slide to show how a sink gets filled. So let's draw a cross section through these three cells. So if I do that, I have this cell here of elevation 44. The middle cell has elevation of 10 and then we have this third cell that has elevation of 16. Now the simplest way to do that is to look at the next lowest elevation. So in this case, our sink has elevation of 10. The next lowest elevation is 16. So one way to fill that sink is just raise the elevation of this cell, let's say 16.1, and then if we do that, then from 16.1 elevation, it will go to 16. So we enable that natural drainage by just raising the value of this cell from 10 to 16.1. Now, if you have one depression or one cell, as a sink, then we can use the simplest way of filling that sink. But many times we end up with what we call as a sink region or a sink zone. So what I'm showing you here is one way of filling that sink zone or sink region. And this was proposed by this author for, from a paper in 2004. So in, in this first figure what you see here is the DEM profile in golden color and you can see there is a wall here that is obstructing the flow. So if we want we can fill all these cells and that way we will enable 
the water flow over that wall and in doing that we basically modified 43 cells so the net change of cells in this DEM is 43 now instead of filling the cells what we can do is we can basically break this wall and if you break that wall all you have to do is fill just one cell so in this case what we did was we removed seven cells in breaking this wall and then we filled one cell so the net change is again we modified six cells that was the net change okay and then if we look at this third figure what we have here is we sort of minimized the net change by filling and also cutting so we cut six cells and we filled six cells and the net change in this case is zero so there are multiple ways of how you can fill sinks the previous example of one filling one cell was the simplest one and what you see on this slide is how you can fill a sink zone by minimizing the net change in the data using this method proposed by this author in 2004. So I hope you understand what a sink is and how we can fill that sink in a DEM.